I really want to talk about the changing times and culture. Should we begin to look like the world in order to attract them? Should it be our attire or should it be the word of God? I, I think that, God bless you, Nikki, but I, I think, <laughs> uh, and you got to understand, I, I'm, I'm in the middle of that because I'm, I'll be 40 in two weeks and I grew up in the old school church. Thank you. So I grew up in church like Greater Harvest, where they was there all night. Amen. That's why I like you on Sunday nights at eight. But uh, Nikki, I, I want to pose a question to her question, to everybody, because clothes don't matter is the, the call of the day for some people in some reformations and some. But if I came in here butt naked, then it'd be a problem. Clothes, clothes matter. So, 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 <laughs> bitch, our bitch was like, what? You ain't got to worry about that. Ron is not going to do that. But the question we is, we say clothes don't matter. Focus on the soul. Focus on love. But to some degree that in holiness, there is a way, there is a standard. Uh, and the Bible calls it being decent and in order. And you can be fully covered up. And not order. You see what I'm saying? Uh, we say, well, he's fully covered, or she was fully covered, but she had on a cat suit. So let me ask you a question. So she's not in order. Let me, let, me ask, let me ask you a question. You or anyone on the panel can address this. I mean, this is a serious question. When you look at social media and when you look at the view of what these church services are looking like, it is obvious that the image of the church is changing. Yes. And to be really, really honest with you, it's changing so fast is that we really can't tell social culture from church culture. Yes. So my, my question is, uh, are we trying to be relevant to a fault or are we just trying to uh, use social tools as a mechanism to draw? But when we draw them in the church, how do we influence real change in their lives? I, I want to say this real quick, real quick, because my service starts at 2. So I have to be there by 1.30, and I'm resting. I watched four to five services between 8 a.m. up until the time I got to church. And I counted the times I heard the name Jesus. I counted the times I heard the name the blood. I counted the times I heard the word deliverance. Counted the times I heard the word breakthrough. Collectively, less than 60 times between all five services. Now, I wasn't watching Powerhouse, of course, but, uh, but, but all five services, big churches. You see what I'm saying? Great amounts of people, amazing music, great orators, but not preachers of the gospel. Because how can you preach the gospel and not mention the blood? How can you preach the gospel and not mention Jesus? I know everybody knows about what's going on now. How can you preach the gospel and not mention prayer, deliverance? These are words, terms of the church, but they're also rights that we have. We have the right to Jesus. We have the right to deliverance. We have the blood of Jesus. And when we take the terminology out first, then you change the way of the dressing, then you change the music, and they're singing about celestial beams in the sky that come down, you know, with UFOs and, and not the blood of Jesus and how he heals and how, oh, y'all act like y'all don't know. Well, Stop Bishop, with Bishop, me. you actually just took me to the point that I okay, was going. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, and the reason that's very good, and I'm going to read this, Judge Christina, Christina Snyder ruled that the cross should be removed from the Los Angeles seal, citing it was unconstitutional because it considered sectarian imagery. The definition of sectarian is concerning or relating to sex of religious imagery. The cross set on top of the historical mission San Gabriel Archangel, which represents the historic role of the missions in the settlement of Los Angeles region. Now, I read this simply because social community doesn't like sectarian imagery, meaning that when they walk in your church, they don't like to see crosses, the altars are old, we just find stages and lights now, right? Nothing that reflect crosses. The reason why people don't like to see sectarian imagery is because sectarian imagery 
tells them that they need a savior and that they are a sinner. All right. So could it be because of the pressures of the social arena, we are adjusting our messages, removing Jesus's name, removing items that's familiar to the fundamental ideas and traditions of the church of Jesus Christ. Archbishop Shorts. It is a spirit of deception. We are all being deceived because when you take certain things out of the church, it's no longer the church. We're fooling ourselves. If the cross, the resurrection, and the name Jesus leaves the church, it is not a church. We can't have the church without certain symbols that represent the church. It's founded on Jesus, not culture, not culture, but Jesus. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw. Then he said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. How are you going to move the pulpit? You can't pull no person out of the pit without a pulpit. How are you going to move the altar? If the person ain't becoming a sacrifice, they can't be cleansed. We are deceived. This is the spirit of deception. Bishops, archbishops, pastors, churches are being deceived. That is the spirit of the demonic forces of this day in time. Deception. My God, Jesus. Let's go back to delusion then, Bishop Sion Roberts. Somebody come on and praise him right there. For the church, don't let this stuff change what we do, who we are and who we represent. Somebody shout up in this place. Let them know that we stand on the rock, which is Jesus Christ. Hey, we can't be ashamed to proclaim him. Hallelujah. Oh, shut up. It's still Jesus. I don't care what nobody said. I said it's still Jesus. Somebody ought to give God a radical shout right there because it's Jesus all day long. Hallelujah. Every group today have a symbol. Yes. They have a color. Yes. They have a branding. Why are you going to make yes. us take away our brand? which represents who we are. Come on, sir. Jesus. The oil is on you, man of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. We give you glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Who glory to God. He's in this place. You talk about Jesus. He come on in. I said he's in the building. I said he's in the building. See, this is when you know it's a real church, when you can talk about Jesus and the church go up. Somebody shout in this place for the name Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. He's the real deal. Glory to God. Somebody praise Jesus. It gets down in your bones when you talk about Jesus. Can't nothing change it. Can't no culture change it. Can't no society change it. When you say for real, you just say for real. The cross done helped everybody in here. We can't take the cross away. Oh! 
If you're happy about the cross, just take off hollering. Come on, church. Come on, church. Hey! The cross in Hebrew is called fire pit. That cross burned up iniquity out of you. We can't let it go. Hey God, thank you for the blood, for the cross. Set on down. Woo! Yes, Jesus. Come on, Bishop Sion. And say what? <laughs> we in there now, y'all. Ain't no sense of having no lecture. We might as well go and pray. Shanda manda ba ha ha. Shoma shanda. Woo! Deliverance need to come back to the church. Power need to come back to the church. When we mention the name Jesus, lies on a change. Somebody open your mouth and cry out, Jesus, Son of the Living God. Get down all in your belly. Have a shudder. It changed me, rearranged me, made me new. Not what I used to be. Don't go where I used to go. Don't talk like I used to talk. Because Jesus is on the inside of me. He is my culture. Somebody come on and shout one more time. Everybody shout. Let the world know that we still got to praise. How? Let the church go up. Somebody grab your neighbor's hand and just run back and start praising God. I feel a stirring in this place. Cannot stop the move of God that He's releasing today. Come on, He's doing something in the region. He never calls a move of God. Heaven calls something for us to sit here and be idle, but He calls it for us to get change in the region. Somebody shout! No, y'all ain't shout. Open your mouth and shout. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. There's a well of breakthrough in this place. There's a well of breakthrough in this place. Because we promote in his name. We got to move. I got to go. Y'all sit on down. We give him glory. We give him glory. And you know what? Christianity is a culture. It is a culture. It's a way of life for us. Amen. Ooh, there might be somebody that need deliverance right now while the power is in this place. Y'all might need prayer or something. Y'all need to come on down here to this altar. Come on. Come on down here. Come on, let's work, panelists. Hey, hey. Somebody needs some help to be stirred again. Come on down here. Hey, Shanaba, don't be afraid. Come on down here. It's power at this altar. The altar is for the saints. Come on down, come on down. Y'all run to this altar. Come on here. Hey, glory. Hey, glory. I feel the power in here. Hey, glory. Somebody might need prayer. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Kings and kingdoms will all pass away. But there's something 
about that name Jesus Jesus slip your hand up Jesus there is something about that name master savior Jesus like the fragrance after the rain oh I love calling his name Jesus 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 let all heaven and earth Proclaim kings and kingdoms shall all pass away. Lay your hands on somebody and tell them there is something about that man. Hands on somebody else and tell them there is something. Come on, about, something about that name. Go grab somebody by the hand and sing it. Come on, oh King, get out of your seat, get back to the name. Oh, pass away. Bleed the blood, but there's something, something about Come on, lay hands on somebody else to bleed the blood. Come on, oh, get out of your seat. Come on, kings and kingdoms, oh, shall all pass away. Tell your brothers and sisters, get back to the name. Just say Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hey, we're gonna close this session, but just say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, pray, pray, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, Jesus, call on him. Father, we thank you right now for that power.
powerful name of Jesus. There's power just in your name. And God, we give you glory right now for the victory over every evil spirit. Every spirit of suicide. We bind right now in the name of Jesus. Come on church. We bind that spirit right now. And we loose the peace of God over every mind right now. Jesus, we thank you right now for giving that mind clarity like never before. God, we push back every spirit of depression, every spirit of sadness, every evil demonic spirit of oppression. And God, right now, we call for your joy. We call for your peace. We call for your understanding. Give it to that mind right now. And we salute you for doing it, God. We lift our voice and praise you like never before. Come on, church. Praise God like never before. For the hand that you're holding, they're coming out of that dark place. They're coming out of that dark place right now. We call you out that dark place in the name of Jesus. We call you out of that dark place right now. Come on, pull them out right now. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. we come against every attack that's coming against the homes and the addresses right now. We call that name out right now. Call the name out of our sons, our daughters, God. We plead the blood of Jesus right now. No more, no more, no more sickness, no more death, no more drive-bys. Come on the neighborhood right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus come down on every address. Call it right now. Open up your mouth, saints of God. Call out names. Call out addresses. The hand that you're holding. There might be demons in the house, but we're going to drive them out right now. We drive out every evil spirit, every demonic spirit in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that's rising up against the authority of that house. We bind it right now. Our children shall be saved. Our children shall be delivered. We claim it right now. Right now. Every niece, every nephew, every grandbaby, everybody in this house shall be saved. And the saints of God make a victorious noise for your home being delivered. For your home being delivered by the blood of Jesus. 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 The blood. Home. Glory to God. What we decree it right now. Now, saints, we're taking back every pulpit. Come on, lift your voice. Take back every pulpit, God. Set that preacher on fire. Set that pastor on fire. In the name of Jesus. Set the mothers on fire. Set the deacons on fire. Set the evangelists on fire. Set the prophet on fire. Let the blood come down. The blood come down. Trip down the walls. The blood come down. Trip over the chandeliers. The blood come down. Trip over the pulpit. The blood come down. Trip over the musicians. The blood come down. The blood come down. The blood of Jesus. The blood in the pulpit. In the pulpit. The blood. The blood. On the organ, on the organ, on the drums, on the singers, everybody covered with the blood. Cover right now. Cover this altar right now. Cover this assembly right now. Cover this organization right now. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the praise. Let the church praise them right now. Praise them for deliverance. Praise him for deliverance. Praise him for your son being delivered. Praise him for your generation. Praise him for the word. Oh, bring sound doctrine back. Sound doctrine come back. Sound doctrine. Holiness. Come on. Come on. Come on, church. Travail. Travail. Oh, my shandy Ocosa. Travail in your spirit. God, anoint the intercessors. Anoint every intercessor. Burn it out. Burn it out. Burn. Burn. Shandy Yoda Bull. Put out that prayer. Put out the intercessor. Put out. Put out. Put it out. Let the men travail. Let the men travail. Jeremiah 30. What is this I see? A man travailing like a woman. Say yes! Oh! Shine that in your seat, here. Yeah! yeah. What number four seat? Let the men. Oh! Let the men travail. 
Let the men travail. Let the pastors travail. We all got to pray. Let them travail at the altar. Bring the men back to intercessory prayer. Intercessory prayer. Intercessory. Stand in that gap. Pray for your church. Pray for your wife. Bless the wise. Bless all the wise. Give them a double portion. Double portion of your strength. And the first lady, lift them up. Say yes! Yes! Every first lady, judge them right now. Push them in the back. Push them in the back. Encourage them. Tell somebody, say, pray for them. Pray for them. Don't talk about her. Pray for them. Pray for them. Come to the mind of every pastor's wife. Come to the mind of every bishop's wife. Come to the mind of the first family. Come on here. Come on here. Tell somebody, say, I got to pray. Tell them I got to intercede. I got to cry out. My belly got to get on fire. My belly got to get on fire. My belly got to have labor pains. Labor to bring forth. Labor to push it out. Labor back in prayer. Yes! What? We need a charge. We need a belly washing. Wash the sin out. Wash the sin out. I'm not on fire like I used to be. I'm not on fire. Tell somebody say I gotta get charged up. You gonna drive them out through prayer. Drive them out through prayer. Say yes! Say yes! Yes! But we need prayer. Oh, bring prayer back in the sanctuary. Oh God, we're calling for it right now. Come on, every hand lifted up. Oh God. Oh God, anoint us to intercede. Oh, Shandini, catch up this gift of intercessory prayer. Put prayer back in the pulpit. My cry is that we all intercede, laying out before the Lord, getting a word from you that would drive out demonic spirits, that would drive out demonic spirits. Give us access to the power over darkness. Give us access, God, for the power over things in the name of Jesus and for this God we salute you we salute you we salute you we salute you and we give you the glory and we give you the honor in Jesus wonderful name amen clap your hands and give God some praise